Okay, chat. Bad card advantage. Some more bad card advantage. Some actually good, efficient cards at the bottom end of the curve. A bunch of solid dual lands, because this is historic, and we get those there. Some creature lands to beat down. Let's play some red-black mid-range. No, Lampton, dropping the dutifully elected deck after the losing candidate count is doing a coup. So Hoaglandia has a functional government. So when a completely idiotic, idiotic non-functional deck gets elected to government, it's properly impeached and removed here. It is, it is kind of funny that, like, we queue up with the historic brew and immediately run into a mirror randomly. Clearly, clearly the matchmaking algorithm is rigged, shit. I guess we just want to play things out. <sighs> so that way we fill the bin for Croxa. Why don't you just spend our mana here with the other two four drops in hand too? There's a lot of Hallbreaker Horror Shells, Blades. The blue-red deck's a tiered, tiered deck. <clears throat> so, Lefarian, thank you for the over four years of support. Welcome back. What do you, what do you want to know about Thanksgiving, Mikey? We don't really have anything channel specific going on for Turkey Day. We can find an untapped land, Chandra kills Moonvale region, <clears throat> and then we're in an okay spot.
Okay. Now, unfortunately, because they have seasoned pyromancer here, we just trade one for one. We're done here. Is what it is. I do not own a turkey costume, no. Oh, she does let us escape. That's true. It's probably better than Sora next turn, huh? The three quarters of a year CPU. Welcome back. Yeah, heading yeah, the fourth lane was basically that. Basically everything. I think I offer this trade so that way they don't have redraws. If they draw a blank here, the Crocs of Trigger kills them next turn. I like that this deck that we're playing uses the graveyard for some things, but it also isn't all in on the graveyard. And they could draw a Fatal Push here, right? They did not. Like we, get, we get some value out of it with these things, but we're not all in on it. Hook seems fine. Could potentially clean up if we get behind. And the other spot removal. I like cutting the discard spells here because they're bad top decks. I think Go Blank is potentially worth having in, even though it does make a bad top deck similar to Thoughtseize because exiling their graveyard has value. And it's a two for one if we get it early. Spells looks like you keep. A lot of other mid-range players, in my experience, like to leave their discard spells in, in Historic, so keeping hands that are functional, even if they're a little bit awkward, is fine. Triple Chandra's nice into a Thoughtseize. Definitely just playing a 2-2 with haste next turn.
What are our best sequence here? We'd like to draw like a go blank followed by an untapped land. here I think hold the grasp in case they have a threat hey thank you for the seven months of prime sent to welcome back And like, if they want to use Soul Guide to nuke my graveyard, then they're like, then they're not drawing a card with it, so it seems good for us. Well, if they hit untapped land here, they can just hive the Croxa, which is not great. Not great for us, specifically. Uh, the text on K Command there was light because it gives each each mode a different color, basically. Greatness at any cost, yet. We did keep a three lander, of course. What else would we have kept? Zap Brannigan! Thank you for the 19 months. Welcome back. Ah, Ratchet and Clank. I should. I should really pull my PlayStation out of my office at some point and let the boys play through Ratchet and Clank. They'd probably like it. Such a good series. Yeah, I, I played through that one, Darth. We did. We did Ratchet and Clank 4 and then uh, Rift Apart on stream somewhat recently. There's playthroughs up on the YouTube channel. Another Soul Guide Lanterns, Big Sad. What's going on, Bethany? Welcome back. It's winter again. Ugh, if they hit a land, they get to kill this with their creature land, but I, I don't really have up. a better play. You're going down. Nobody tells me what Thanks for the fall, Leo. Good morning. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you enjoyed the Unite stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Posted a wiggly poof video there. First time playing that Pokemon, that's really sweet. Ah, wiggly poof. Esper must have been awful. Isn't it always dot meme? Now, Chandler is a 3-3 for the time being, but remember they have a Soul Guide Lantern that can nuke my graveyard on command. They can't kill Chandra this turn. Is glass half full? Unless they have another removal spell. Which they could. This could be a 
Get it revolt for fatal push crack. Yep. It's over when I say it's over. A terrible pickup. You play Soul Guide Lantern over Relic because you care about your own graveyard. It's also free to activate Soul Guide Lantern, whereas it costs one mana to exile graveyards with Relic. So your your sequencing in terms of how you have to hold up mana is different with the other. Kind of surprised they're not relicking my my Pyromancer tokens. With meat hook, meat hook in play, they're extra scary. Yeah, relic pressures the graveyard in a different way. The fact that Soul Guide Lantern lets you exile a specific card gives a lot of value, though. Good draw. It drains them with me hook too. They have to sack this in response. Oh no, the meat hook lets them get the whole thing. That's Sag. But that's fine. They're still like basically dead, right? Yeah, they're they're dead actually. Because they have to double block this, and then they take two, and then they take one for Meat Hook. What a silly game. Get wrecked. Gosh, Meat Hook is a card that just constantly impresses me. I feel like it always, it always ends up being better than I expect it to be, even weeks into playing it. Creature lands are great, champ. And that that game was a good example of what I was talking about in the first game where, you know, we had played Red Black Arcanist uh, last week or earlier this week, I forget. And it was really mediocre because it just gets hosed by graveyard hate. And this deck, while it leans on its graveyard a little bit with things like Croxa, we're not all in on that game plan. And we're able to pivot, pivot around their graveyard hate very reasonably. Do we keep Soren or Pyromancer here? I technically don't have second red for Pyromancer, which makes me think we bottom it. Please 
least we at least we won the die rolls yet. Hi, friend. The worst part about playing discard spells, chat, is that you get to know exactly how lucky your opponent is. And good golly is it painful sometimes. This lets this uh, attack through, which is sad. I guess if they attack Storm with everything, we get to eat one of these at least. My favorite line is cast, discard, spell, concede. Yep. Mood. Mood. Definitely blocking here because we can just make another vampire next turn. Dire times call for dire tactics. Okay, don't call it a comeback. Because it probably isn't. Into the dumpster we go, into the dumpster we go. Heidi ho the cherry-o, into the dumpster we go. From Darcy, I'm bringing in Angers and Mate Hook Massacre.
Hope everything works out there, Bean Z. Glad they were able to get their shot already. I think we're supposed to save this for when we can kick it. Because especially with Chandra in hand, there's a good chance we have mana to kick this up. Fight for me now. They eat the one one here. No collecting company. <laughs> Untapped land. Adversary cycle a lot. I think they're all they're all pretty playable. here means that uh, be able to kill that with Heartless Act anymore. Am I missing a land again? Do I just beat Hook for two? Yeah, we can meet Hook for one in Fatal Push. It's probably the play. If he has no symptoms, uh, he can return to school on Monday, regardless of if they've taken a COVID test. You're in Michigan, right, Beansy? I must, I must say, Illinois is not perfect, but having lived here through the entirety of the pandemic, I'm very happy with my state. Anybody looking for a reasonable place to live, 10 out of 10 would recommend Illinois. What was it? Someone uh, someone mentioned the subs discord over the weekend that the local emergency room had a six hour wait for them. I think they were in Michigan over the weekend. Good reminder that this whole thing is far from over. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying it. 
Fuck you. Yeah, Chicago's a reasonable place. Christy, Christy and I are a few hours away from there. Close enough. Close enough to do a day trip if we wanted. I got COVID and told my employer and the office I'm contracted to. And the employees told me yesterday that the office told them I was sick, but not with COVID. That's, that's like next level of the bold face line. Yeah, try getting to play like some powerful graveyard stuff, but not being all in feels like a good place to be. I've been to California before. I have not. The only time I've spent on the left coast was uh, Seattle. They used to, they used to have uh, Star City Invitationals in Seattle, so I went out, went out there at two different points to play in those. So most of my traveling was tournament related back in the day, in the, in the before times. Yikes. Pre-COVID or pre-streaming? Pre-full-time streaming. I always, I always, I was streaming on Twitch through doing content though. Thal Thalia's lieutenant is game ending for sure. Missing, missing a land drop, probably also game ending. Okay. Seems to be black, right? So we can grasp the Adeline. The problem is I'm about to give them two cards. Yeah, I don't want to gra- I want to kill this sense. I meant eventually grasp it. Sorry. Sorry for lack of communication. We, we could just play a 4-3. The problem is if I play a 4-3 and they have a Skyclave, I'm just conceding, right? I guess if they had a Skyclave, there was a good chance they would have played it last turn. All right, let's Bone Crusher and see what they do. Uh, I don't know 
if I would ever go back to playing large tournaments successfully, or successfully uh, again, I mean, if I'm being completely uh, frustratingly honest, um, in the months leading up to when everything shut down from COVID, I was definitely starting to have some social anxiety due to the density of mass shooting events we had been having in the United States. And I know that that's forever ago, so people might not remember, but like in like the six months leading up to when shit shut down before COVID happened here, like we had an incredible number, even for the United States, of people getting getting murdered in public places here. Yeah. Aliens are in this deck. Let's do a double check here. We might not have enough of those. Yeah, Meat Hook are one of our Ingers. Twenty four lands, chat. For the love of God, put more lands in your decks, chat. There are six lands that attack here. Why do Why do people hate playing Magic? I need to go through. I imported a bunch of decks the other day and I didn't make any edits. I really need to just assume people aren't playing enough lands. How many lands is enough lands? Well, when you're trying to curve to four and your deck has a lot of utility lands, you want to err on the side of more rather than less. Lands never make me feel good. They only make me sad when they don't show up. Mood. Why would I play lands, Jeff? They only ever make me feel bad things. Getting people to put lands in their deck is like trying to get them to floss. <laughs> Dental hygiene's important, chat. Floss your teeth. And if you're someone that doesn't like flossing, you have a couple of options. They make picks that are really easy with floss in between them. I like using those. And they make these things called water flossers that are excellent. You just like use it, can use it in the showers so there's no mess. It just like shoots water in between and gets all the crap out. Take your take your dental hygiene very seriously. You only get only get one set of teeth. Dentist asked last time I flossed, and I'm like, bro, you were there. <laughs> $65,000 and a trip to Austin and my sister had a whole new set of teeth. Yikes.
You're, you're fine, Blue Fire. We've all been there. At least it was a deck list, not a password. Thanks for the 56 months, Jin. I appreciate the over four and a half years. Welcome back. My will must be. Few can deal with my servant. I'm busy. It is six months in advance. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Jokes on you, Jeff. That deck import is the password. I, in, I personally invested a small fortune into making my teeth straight, so I have a vested, vested interest in keeping my investment well cleaned. Invisalign worth all of the awfulness that it came with? It wasn't that bad. There's like three to four days of discomfort when you change trays on occasion. All things like, I mean, you're like physically relocating teeth in your mouth, chat. Blood for knowledge, a fair trade. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need sources sources on that. Study studies show, link the studies call. I did, I did in fact expense it, Jim. Okay, that's a nice hit. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. Very well. Soren's sitting here generating extra cards for us. They've played they've played what, two draw threes this game? We're keeping up so far? Keeping up ish. Ooh, that's a scary one. Catch you later, Jin. Have a good turkey day. Gobble, gobble. Nothing on Innistra is free. Yeah, 17, 17 cards into our deck without a king command's a bad beat. 
four mana Soren is good in Vampires in the Story. Probably not. Maybe, maybe out of the sideboard. Maybe. I want to be able to jump block for Soren so I can draw an extra card next turn. I mean, for what it's worth, my line is hope they forget about their card. I was aware of the vault, but we don't we just don't have any counterplay there otherwise, right? The line the line is hope they miss their onboard trick because I'm not beating it. So far, Darcy has felt kinda mediocre. I don't know if this is a card I'm particularly happy playing. I feel like I'd rather just have a little bit more grind and answers. Maybe we cut her and play like another Pyromancer, another Kate Command, and then two more removal spells or something. Thanks for the resub, Ben. Appreciate the 15 months. Welcome back. Weekend demo. Thanks for the follow. I haven't missed it, right, mods? Did the pers did the studies show flossing doesn't help? Have they come back to share their studies? I'm type I'm grabbing their username so that way we can punish them when they don't. I haven't seen it yet either. Yep. You know how toothpaste boasts 9 out of 10 dentists recommended? What does the 10th dentist know? The 10th dentist knows that their personal bank account hasn't been padded in an upward direction yet. Prioritize exiling artifacts we care about from their bin because they're occasionally in every deck.
Okay, so we shadow, shatter the nettle cyst. These are th only two to re-equip, yikes. Ah, it's not that there's evidence that flossing doesn't work. It's that there's not been strong studies that show that it does. That's kind of one of those common fucking sense things, right? You clear the crap out of your mouth. You're less likely to have problems. It's one of those Twitch chat actually type arguments. Yeah, exact, exactly that, Bobby. Why spend money on a study you can literally see the buildup being removed? That's like, technically, to show that smoking causes cancer, you have to run formal studies with control groups and not, right? It's so like, you know. We know cigarettes cause lung cancer, chat, but like... We, te we technically, there aren't really a lot of formal studies showing that with control groups and such, right? The opponent just like did a whole lot of nothing and died, huh? They just like drew nine cards and conceded. We take those. Bring on the Doom Blades. Bring on the Abrades. take my whip hit for one here because I'd prefer to not give them a free card if I can avoid it. They'll let the sentinel tempo me, I think. They caged the elephant shit. I'm gonna go ahead and murder this now before they could untap it if a counter spell. I just got out of floss pick. Thanks, peer pressure. Look, we're doing what we can. We're impro we're improving lives here, okay? I'm just trying to make your lives better because I care, chat. Listen, if you die from dental problems, you can't sub to my channel anymore. I have, I have a vested interest in all of your well-being at home. Oh, see, I'm I'm hyper lazy, Eddie. I went I went from brushing and flossing after every meal to immediately just like back to just doing it in the morning and the evening. It's actually the worst of braid art we've had because it doesn't have a foil. I need to swap my foil in. 
Or maybe it has a foil, but I've already paid for the foil for the other one, so I'm committed to the other one. Man, remember the time we went up to 26 lands in this deck? Before this game? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Beric! Thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. The lands only make you sad, mood. Mood. Oh, and now we're probably dead, right? No lands and no cake commands. Oh. Welcome back, Tongsby. Untap land, please. Hey, Jim, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Okay, so... I think we're bolting this in. So we can heat the crypt. So I, I don't want to do it now. They're they're going to attack. If I do it now, they can untap the black staff and make something else a 4-4 next turn, which I don't really want. Yeah, you too, Jim. Gobble, gobble. For people wondering why I'm not escaping Croxa, there is still a Graph Digger's Cage in play for the opponent. Hey, thanks for the sub gift, Siren. Tex. Alright, so we're a little bit ahead at the moment, but only a little. They're kind of. They're almost out of artifacts. Uh, we have two K commands left in our deck. We are out of a breed. We have two more, two more shatters. These treasure vaults have been very good for the opponent. I've given them lots of lots of things to do with things like Blackstaff. There might be something to these artifact lands. I mean, this whole game kind of went to shit around the fact that, like, we just didn't have lands early, so I had to use these as just deal threes to stay alive, which meant I then didn't have them for their actual meaningful artifacts. Just sad. Yeah. 
<sighs> Sedge. Do we have any outs here? When people start screaming, oh, today's my lucky day. I think your speculation is really aggressive and probably wrong, Eddie. I don't I don't think the archetype we just played against can ever be a top tier deck in historic. I think there are far too many incidental pieces of artifact hate that people can just start playing to ever let that that deck be be particularly good. I think it can be fine and it can be playable but it's the type of deck where it's it's like the same reason you'll never see a dedicated graveyard deck be the best deck in historic they they had black staff haba hut they had two lethal attackers like i'm i'm actually i'm actually just gonna add another cake command here and probably throw another a braid in the sideboard and like with like even a single shatter that game and my opponent's deck just like didn't work like, the only reason their deck did well in that game was because we stumbled and died and it forced me to use the shatters that I had on inoptimal things. Oh yeah, foil of breeds too, good call. Like, I don't, I don't think that deck is bad. If you really like it, you should, you can play it. But it's definitely a deck that like, if people want to beat you, they're going to shove you in a trash can. What do I want for my last two main deck cards? Is it crazy to just like main deck some meat hooks? I feel like it's not. I feel like this card's kind of great. And that gives me a sideboard slot for the last of braid that I wanted. I like it. Let's try this. This deck has enough creatures that we can leverage main deck meat hook against control decks okay too, which is nice. And I don't know what Forlin is as a magic card, so I'm going to assume it's not very good. Usually, I go, if the set's been out for two weeks, I don't know what a card's called. That's usually not a playable card. Oh, Flory and the Vampire. Um... I don't know that we're attacking consistently enough in this deck for that card to be playable here. It's like some Phoenix. I just start attacking here. A couple pieces of Graveyard Heat, plus a Davriel's Withering for this matchup. play out the bone crusher because i think we need to try and run them down here their deck draws a lot of cards as the game goes long so trying to get aggressive here especially with these creature lands we're positioned to do seems potentially good i'm expecting them to floop at least one phoenix into play here if they're lucky they'll find a second if we're lucky they won't have a third land but the odds of them not having a third land are really low here they're looking at a lot of cards bottoms up 
Don't, don't ditch more phoenixes. Stop it. Rats. That's a good draw. So I assume these birds are coming back again. If they don't get a third bird this turn. Ooh, just a Stormwing. Okay, so we're like actually in a really good spot now, right? Because we get to Shatter Skull, drop it like it's hot on this. And then crack them to two. And then we've got our creature lands available. Plus our threats. Technically a third bird, but not the one we were afraid of. Okay. Yeah, they need they need four blockers with Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Uh, they could faithful saluting into a third bird, right? Or they could kill my bloodthirsty adversary with this unholy heat to bring back the phoenixes. We we could lose this game, chat. This this game is losable. Don't don't count your chickens. Yeah, like. Chat, their deck sees infinite cards in a, in a game. We have we have some draws that kill them. But I think we're definitely behind, unless we top deck here. Chandra's lethal. Wait, what? Uh Friendo. Uh Friendo. Du -du -du -du. Listen, we take those, okay? We take those. Oh, Go Blank is Graveyard Hate 2 and Anger. I got a bunch of cards for this matchup. That's exciting. That's exciting. All right, so what am I, what am I cutting here? I think this is a discard spells out matchup. K command's probably not very good. The grindy aspect doesn't seem like what we're looking to do here. This card doesn't benefit them as great. Not really. So the opponent's deck has so many cards that draws cards. Most of their cards have the same impact on a given game. So taking away one card from them isn't really a huge difference unless you're taking away exactly their third spell. And even then they have so many cantrips are like cantrip into cantrip. It's meh. Croxa doesn't seem good versus Phoenix. So Croxa is one of our more efficient ways to close out the game. And the opponent's deck doesn't have a lack of ways to put things in the graveyard. So I think I think Croxa is more than fine to leave in here because we, we do need to kill them. Like we, on, we only won that last game because we were able to apply pressure. Watsi looks to be doing a push with a bunch of sponsored Twitch streams again for Arena. Which feels like interesting timing. Second, second set release after rotation. 
Usually, usually they line those up with bigger, bigger events. I guess, I guess a set release kind of counts as an event. Big Z Wine, thanks for the 49 months. Welcome back. Yeah, this looks fine. Oh, maybe Meat Hook's not, not actually very good here. Could see that being a cut. I'm just gonna play this out proactively so he can't get surprised by Phoenixes. Budget surplus. Oh, you know what, Gout? That, that's probably 100% what it is. That's actually a, a great shout out. I've never been the person that has to deal with that type of thing in the industry, but that makes total sense. Speaking of sponsored streams, we got Fatal Core coming up later today. We're going to play some of that. Or a sweet indie TCG. You can check out on Steam if you haven't seen us play that before. A lot of really awesome, unique game mechanics in that one. I think our plan for being aggressive this game is like Bone Crusher Giant, Stomp Your Face, and then Season, Ditch, Meat Hook, and Crocs the next turn. Try and find the answer to the Stormwing. I think I'm going to start with Draft today, G Arc. Perfect. Well, not fully perfect yet, but we're working there. Artifact will be a third card type. What's going on, Flash? This might be a spend two cards to kill Crackling Drake angle. Hey, Dingus, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of fun for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. Ha! So fortunate our motives align. Twenty six lands, chat. Twenty six. At any cost, chat. At any cost. Blood for knowledge. A fair trade. A fair trade indeed, Mr. Soren. A fair trade indeed. It's not it's not greatness at some costs yet. It's at any cost.
Hey, what's going on? Heat? We're doing all right. You need a creature in the bin. Okay. So this is this is good. We're gonna want to pop the Soul Guide Lantern to get a Phoenix out, anyways. This will wipe the Delirium off the Dragon Rage Chandler. I think. Ha. Huh. I could adversary kick cast anger and exile itself, but we could also like bone crusher stomp heat. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Chandra plus for mana stomp heat make a vampire. I think is the I think is the line. You fight for me now. We're at five cards in the bin, so we're one off of escaping Kraxa. Opponent does have a giant glut of cards in hand here still, though. So we are a little bit ahead at the moment, but definitely anybody's game. Kill Chandra or Sorin here. They could split the difference. They're splitting the difference. Deal. We take those. Balance may never be restored now. So now I can plus her for mana. And we could do this twice, right? So sh so this lives through anger. Good clean live in here. Get to start applying pressure. This does mean we're one card off of escaping the Croxa again, but we're solidly ahead on the race. Chandra, Chandra is really sweet. Just does a little bit of everything you want to be doing. Yikes. They don't have a way to tap Chandra here. We get to kill Crackling Drake with her. So that leaves us in an okay spot. Okay, perfect. Oh, and that gives us... Oh, these both, Chandra would have given us the last card for Croxa too. Don't you hate that burnt oh, that gives us a way to Bone Crusher this turn too, though. Feels like we're firmly in the driver's seat now. Noise? That was a solid set. Adversary. Adversary is a solid card in this deck. It's like good. Like, and that match really showcased the range of it, right? Like we had something hasty in the first game and it just allowed us to beat down. And then in that game it allowed, generated some value. I'm glad they brought back the escape chains too. Yeah, Chandra, Chandra's flexibility is excellent. Like she she gave us mana to ramp to make a play. She killed a Drake that would have killed us otherwise against Yorian. See, it's probably fine against Yorian. It's got Thought Seize's disruption. We got some pressure. 
Abzan, eh? Could just be Esper, because there's not an Esper Trium. Just Esper playing this as a cycle land. I'm going to take their Omen, because this ends up being a draw two or three with their multiple Yorians and stuff. Start putting my threats on the board here. Wow, they didn't kill it. Good beats. I think we just do this, ditch these two, and then hope to spike and untap Black Source to Thought Seize this turn. Bone Crusher got in six points of damage. We count that as a W. Do I need to play Blood Crypt? I don't, right? There's really no rush to Thought Seize. Their Yorian's not coming down for two more turns. I don't really care about their removal spell. So let's just play the tap land here. And then this way they draw one more card before we Thought Seize, giving us a chance to get a little bit more information. Let's start by attacking. Yo, me, y'all, secrets. Negate. No. Show, show me your secrets. Hey, chat, you want to see a trick? Pick you up, you discard. Inject, inject the card advantage directly into my veins, chat. Inject it directly into my veins. Take Pyromancer back up, you discard a card again. Crack you for five. Just gr grind them into the dust. Listen, it ain't Snapcaster Mage, but it'll do in a pinch. Uh... I don't think we're supposed to attack here because they'll just get to blink this and reset the counters on it. Hey, let's just keep the cards flowing here, huh? Our card advantage has been impressive this game. Another K command. It's excellent. I think I just want a 2 3. We kind of we just want to go wide around them here, right? You will serve me well. And now this can fight this, and then they. Oh, they're fighting that. Huh. They block here, they take five. I think that's a good exchange for me. Putting them, putting them to two makes my Hive of the Eye Tyrant better. And then they're dead on board if they Yorian, right? They're also dead to K command from hand by going to two. Okay, so control deck. Inferno sounds lovely. Go blank sounds lovely. 
meat hooks and easy out. Our main deck's actually like, okay set up here for a matchup like this. Just like bringing in these four cards, maybe trim a couple of unholy heats. Leaving leaving two heats in is fine, because it like kills like Polychronos and Yorian, I think. I don't think we want Soul Guy. I didn't really see. I didn't really see anything that Graveyard hates that or utilizes their Graveyard, I should say. Yeah, I, that's fair. I guess Pelucranos is technically a Graveyard card. It escapes back. Three spells, but technically this is a two, three, four, five curve, which is nice. Although this might be a matchup where we just want to like adversary on two. All right, now we'll now we'll crux on two. Let's grind on their hand a little bit. Maybe a little bit of a sequencing mistake here from the opponent. Should probably play their omen before they discard so they can make their discard decision with slightly more information. Not a not a huge deal, but a little thing that they could definitely do better. Uh, Pelucanos is 8 to escape, right? So still, still a lot, but not quite 12. Or am I, am I mixing it up? It's been a second. Eight, 8 is a lot. Yeah. For, for sure. I think we're in drawing cards of Soren territory. I am vengeance, bloody and righteous. You wish to know my Chandra loves Soren, Chad. Well. Loves, loves to be on the top of our deck with Soren. Ballistic Whiskey. Thanks for the 13 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. So Fable Passage is technically color fixing. It gets us either of our basics. It also puts a card in the graveyard, which is useful for escaping with Croxa, as well as hitting Delirium on the Unholy Heats. Speaking of, I only have two card types in there. It's the line here. We might just be sending Soren in the upward direction. Nothing on Innistrad is free. It's my turn. Yeah, this could be a make mana use pyromancer angle. Yep. You come into now. that. for the follow soul devourer good afternoon binding is solid without me we're all doomed we're all doomed to fight fire with fire no instance in the graveyard yet so notably if we find unholy heat we can drop it, um, we can get Delirium by casting the K command before it resolves. I could also... We could triple shock the Yorian with mana from Chandra. 
I can like triple shock it, pick up Bone Crusher and Bloodthirsty. Is that the line? It keeps my Chandra alive, right? Assuming they don't have another Yorian. Gets the board cleared too. I kind of like it. Yeah, checking, checking for Ephemerate is smart. Today's my lucky day. Te technically. That was technically a one for zero, right? Because, like, we used three cards, but those cards, like, drew Bone Crushers and Bloodthirsties. It's so, like we're, we're ahead on board with a similar number of cards in hand. Our hands just spread out here a little bit. And second, second Yorian's pretty punishing here. Although I can actually escape Crocs of this turn, right? Guess you don't need me anymore. I think that's the line. Would love to draw a uh, unholy heat here. Yeah, I think I think it's just escape Croxa. I'm gonna leave Cake Command in the bin because we have Bloodthirsty Adversary. Slipping behind here. That doesn't really matter because we already put this into play. If they have a way to kill Croxa here, we're going to be behind. If they can't kill Croxa, we're still ahead. So they're, at, they're at 12 and it's going to kill them relatively quickly. They keep mousing over my friend. Hopefully they're just reading it because it's been a while since they played against it. Agro do I want to be here? We could like bloodthirsty, like shock you, make you discard a card, Croxa. Yeah, it's also it's also potentially just lethal. I kinda, I kinda like all the aggro. They're getting priority here, but they could just have moment of the sea available. Man, it really is hard to read that text, huh? So, last chapter on Nightmare is going to let them take the Soren out of my hand. Better to take Croxa for the potential three damage. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I think I think you might be right, Cody. The virtual lightning bolt's probably better there. Given the the state of the rest of the board. Oh. Ah, if we would have picked the cracks up, we'd have won. Good, good shout, Goody. I think we just double giant.
Untapped land is lethal. If they trade with the Bone Crushers, Sorin makes a chump blocker. If they let a Bone Crusher through, Croxta kills them. Close game despite my mistake. They have they have a top deck here, obviously. No You deal with this annoyance. Deal with this annoyance. Nailed it. Close close game. Mid range decks are fun when they're playable. Chat. I like I like playable mid range decks. Magic Arena can't handle it though. It's not responding. I like this one. I like I like the spot we ended up at. We ended up so we we had some Darcy's at the bottom end of the curve to start. But even even without them, our curve is is pretty pretty nicely packed here, right? Like we've got 10 ones, this is 10 twos, and then we technically like Bone Crusher is that like excellent curve filler, right? Like it's a two mana stomp on two, and then it's also a four three on four. So we t we technically have um we technically have 10, 10, 10, six, and then some meat hooks. So there is an arena only format heat called historic that has a, all of the cards that are legal on magic arena. And they've been sprinkling in miscellaneous older cards, which is how things like K command and some like direct to modern cards, like season pyromancer are legal in it and things like unholy heat. So it's this, it's this weird amalgamation of like not modern, not legacy, but kind of its own, its own unique thing. Yeah, I think I think it's probably the best constructed format on on Arena at the moment. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to put it, Crimorm. It's basically fixed modern. It's like slowly becoming modern without the cards that they think are, are like apparent design mistakes there. Sweet. So if you're looking for something mid rangey, this seems like a great choice. God, this is just like mythic wild cards dot deck though, huh? This is eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And the casual and Inferno a mythic. Oh yeah, casual two, 21, two more on the sideboard. You know, no, no big, no big. All right, 